Factor Experimental is just that. You can do a lot of things to these mowers. A tinkerer's dream, Jim. You can really get in there, use your mechanical ingenuity, a lot of creativity, and my hat's off to all our FX racers. Factory Experimental, just about anything mows. <laughs> and indeed, with those 10-inch wide wheels, we're talking about serious horsepower to this 10th mile at the Delaware County Fairgrounds, just north of Columbus, Ohio, and it's going to be a great race. And as the racers get ready for their Le Mans start, let's take a look at our starting grid. Tim Lowell on the pole, Kevin Penny. Boy, these guys have had a great season thus far, as has Manny Torres. These guys are about ready to go racing 20 laps around this 10th mile. It's going to be a good one, Jim. They all know each other. They know what they're going to do on the track. They can really let their hair down and let it all hang out. And it's really critical to get a great start. Mike Miller, the hedgehog, number 16, blasts out of the hole. A great Le Mans start for Mike Miller. On board with Mike, a great look here aboard the 16. Look at him, saw it at the wheel already. It's a point championship to be decided. Kevin Penny, Manny Torres tied coming into this one. It's pretty cool being tied for points. I uh, wasn't really shooting for it, it just ended up that way. Manny's really, really wants it, so uh, he's gonna have a little surprise if I do end up winning it. I'm gonna give it to him anyhow. Benny didn't only win four races, he won six this season. A perfect score coming in. He's battled Kevin Penny on the racetrack and for the U.S. Points Championship. I'm racing against Kevin Penny. I'm tied with him first, and uh, he's a tough competitor, one of the best, best racers in the country. And to beat him, you've got to be on your A game and hope that he has some problems. Mike Miller has won this race before in a past championship, but watch Cooter, Kevin Penny. This is a noticeably faster run around this race course as well, the fastest we'll see all weekend long. Mike Miller now on board, the race leader. Any wrong turn, any wrong move, and Kevin Penny's gonna pounce. There's Manny Torres, his points nemesis, running third now, and a good look at the 770 of Tim Lowell, who started on the front row. We're seeing lap speeds around 14.4 seconds. Penny, Miller, Torres, 14.4 seconds on this tenth of a mile track. Boy, that's a lot of heat put on right there by the Penny machine, the 104 right behind our race. Mike Miller looking left, looking right. Is it a matter of time? Look at this move on the outside. Can you believe it? Outside move here. Crucial restart here for Mike Miller, the race leader, and look at that. Right behind him, inches behind him, is the 104 of Kevin Penny. And remember, Penny and Torres tied for the points lead, but let's watch it. Penny on the outside, Miller on the inside. Penny is on full attack here in the battle for the lead. Mike Miller in that yellow heat machine. Feels a lot of heat right now. Oh, there he goes down low. He drifted up out of the Whoa. racing group, but look at that. Look at that maneuver. That's classic Kevin Penny, and he nailed it. On that last corner, and we go on board with our new race leader, Kevin Penny. He got a wheelie action to get all the horsepower of the rear tires in the FX class. Man, what a great power move. Jim, the cool thing is these are like your mowers at home. These are the mowers you find out behind the barn, behind the garage. Yeah, they're highly modified, especially in FX, but you can do this. It's easy and affordable, and uh, these are the mowers that you can find just about anywhere. I've known Kevin Penny for about 18 years now, and he's never satisfied. The guy never sleeps. He's coming up with mathematical equations, horsepower, gear ratios. The guy is the ultimate mechanic. And what's even cooler than that is he's always willing to help his fellow racers. In fact, he's built three of the machines out on the track right now, and that's lawnmower racing. Your biggest competitor is the one who wants to get you on that track by lending out parts, giving you the knowledge, showing his experience, and sharing everything about what makes this sport so great. I believe we see the white flag here, heavily mired in traffic as your race leader on the outside on the final circuit for Kevin Penny. It's going to be Penny, but let's see how the U.S. points are going to unfold as we wind it down. Greg Hansel just ahead of him in the final corner now, and Penny decides, I don't want to tie, I want to win, and he wins here in FX. There he is, and your U.S. points champion, race winner and champion, Cooter, Kevin Penny. What a great run by Kevin. These guys are still on their final lap, and Kevin doesn't want to stop racing yet. How excited that young man is. This is how they finish. Kevin Penny beating Mike Miller. Manny Torres ends up third. The Manny tied coming into this race. And Robert Sparvel, great run up to fourth. And your top four race finishers are also top four U.S. points in the FX class. This season and in this race, they all chase Kevin Penny to the finish line. Let's hear from him. Uh, this Gold Eagle machine really pulled through tonight, man. I mean, I did a lot of homework on it. Mikey and I have been working on our mowers in and out. And uh, just, you, you stand there and you look at the thing. What could I do? What could I do? You know, and every little piece makes a difference on here. I mean, it's, it's, we're talking two pounds of tire pressure makes a difference out here. Of course, the track changes during the day. But uh, this thing pulled through, did all my homework, paid off. This is Jack's collector car. It's valuable. It's a classic. 
Lucky Jack's neighbor, Ned, told him to add Stabil brand fuel stabilizer when he stored it. I told him. Oh, boy. Because Stabil keeps fuel from breaking down and gumming up the engine. That's pretty much what I said. Without Stabil, that engine probably wouldn't start right now. And repairs are costly. Jack, you did add Stabil like Ned said, right? I never listen to Ned. Never. Poor Jack. When you store, start with Stabil.